That's amazing, Mitch. It sounds like you sort of figured that process out the hard way. Well, everything's from necessity. I mean, my whole life, I'm not the smartest guy in the room. And anybody who knows me will tell you. And I, I really don't score well on it. Um, but I have an aversion to pain. And I, and I seek pleasure. So whenever I would do something in my business that hurt me, I would try to figure out how, how to stop that from happening. And then when I found something that felt good in my business, I would try to figure out how to multiply that, you know, how to exaggerate that. How do we make that happen more often? That was fun. That was great. I got a big check or I got a check. So over 27 years, you kind of figure out what you, what you do. And then on top of that, I didn't invent this stuff by myself. I mean, it's a lot of conversations with smart people like Jay Connor or Ron Legrand or somebody. We get in rooms and we we decide how to fix problems, you know, in, in, in think tanks. You know, if you read my book, My Life in a Thousand Houses, Failing Forward to Financial Freedom, you know, there was a day when the phone was $1,800 a month. My cell phone bill was $1,800 a month. When we figured out how to beat that, it became the San Antonio uh, Real Estate Investors Association, or Saria, and it ended up having 830 people. But that group started because we all met one day to try to figure out how to beat our phone bills. And we did figure it out. But no one person figured it out. It was a guy at that end of the table said something that bounced off this guy. And he said, well, what if you did this? And another guy said, yeah, that's good, but you can't do it like that. You need to do it like this. And then we morphed our way in to a system that cut our phone bills down to $600 a month. 